Hey guys, my name is Dieter and this is probably the first video you'll see on my channel. As the name implies, my name is Dieter and I like to do things, though I'm not that great at anything I do. This channel is just to document all my projects and all the things I do and share it with you guys so that hopefully you learn something or have a good time. In this video, I'll be making some chairs that'll go very nicely with my next video where I'll make a table. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing, so they might come out really well or really poorly. I hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching. So the next step was to find some straightish wood for, for the legs. I think we can chop this into at least enough semi-straight pieces to be the legs for our chairs. Okay, so I've collected the stick and the wood discs and I decided to make the legs out of this and I measured a chair and the chair was around 18 inches tall so we're going to make a cut every 18 inches to give us some nice legs and then we'll drill some holes in these discs to get a place to put the legs. leg number one now we repeat the process I was hoping to get six legs out of this but at 18 inches I'll only get five which is okay because we'll look at the back we've got a billion trees go and get some more wood later to uh, make the final leg but that can happen later it's not very interesting so I've got these pallets and these legs now 
and I found this drill with a large drill bit and I'm going to drill the three holes. The only problem is because this drill bit is so large only two of the legs will work and then these two legs will just slip right through so I need to go get another drill bit that's smaller which just means it'll be some extra work but that's okay Getting closer towards the end of the hole, I'm gonna just put this block on some of the legs so when I pop through the end, I don't drill into the dirt, which would be pretty bad for the drill bit, I think. Okay, we've got hole number one. I originally tried to do it with a different style drill bit, but it did not work. So this is how we're gonna do it. And then I'm gonna grab my axe and shave off some of this. We'll stick it right there, right there. We've got ourselves a chair. Now two more holes. Three holes. Now this wood is an absolute pain to drill through. So, I'm not gonna make you watch the second one. Okay, so I haven't finished the second block because we used up two full batteries. Well, they probably weren't full, but two batteries just to drill the holes in them. It takes forever. So while we're waiting for them to charge, I figure we can get to work on the legs. So the legs need to be that deep on this one. And just a little thinner. So I figure just go around. fit and it looks like we've got a lot more to go so how do you think we can speed this process up I do not know
Hey, that's not that bad. We've got leg number one. Fast, it's pretty thin. Leg number two, two-thirds of the way there. And this one's going to be tough because it is fat. Like, maybe one and a half times the thickness of these two. That's not good. Now it looks like I'll need to get two more uh, legs on my next run. But I don't think that's a problem. Probably should have thought that through a little bit more though.
has three legs, fits nicely. Oh yeah, it's kind of tippy. That's that's okay, I think. So that's stool number one. Let's take some of this bark off. Actually, we'll put it back, and we'll just. Well, look at that, we got rid of some of the rot. Now it's looking like a real stool. Well, ish. I think if we move just this, this big peg right here, like that, that might get rid of some of the wiggle a little bit. Oh yeah. This is a pretty awesome stool. Wood rate. Seven and a half sitting people out of ten. <laughs>